Hey everyone, it's Matania from AffEngineer.com. Um, so, if you've been following from the last video, uh, I've been go just kind of going over the power editor and how I go about making my ad. The last thing that's left now is to actually make the newsfeed ad that's going to be displayed to the demographic we've selected here. Um, so to do that, we need to do a few things beforehand. So I've gone ahead and actually made the Teespring campaign. Um, so what we need from here is the picture. The um, so I've print screen that. We need the hoodie. So let's go to paint, paste, cut out this hoodie. I'm going to go to my newsfeed ad template. I've done this before, so I'll just do it again. Paste that in there. Enlarge it to a nice big size. Get rid of the background. Now, I can't... I don't know how to get rid of this Facebook stuff, but when your ad's that big, I doubt people are really going to notice it, so I'll just leave it there anyway. Um... Usually, Teespring's kind of made it uh, a little bit blurry so that you, people don't go around copying others, other people's design, but you can get around that to a certain extent by clicking on the, the palette or the layer that your hoodie's on and then going to Filters, Enhance, Sharpen, and then sharpening it to about... It ranges. Let's try 50. And that, that gets rid of the blur to a certain degree, so... That's ready to use, so we're going to export that as sample ad, yes, replace, export, and that's our newsfeed ad done. So it's a really basic ad template here. Um, you can split test other ones if you want, but I'll just go with something really simple. Um, the arrow is pointing to the shop now button that you can uh, put in from your Facebook ad, your Facebook ad, uh, sorry, your power editor, which I'll show you soon. But uh, this is 800 by 400. So if you want to use the same template, you can use it that that pixel that uh, template size. So now let's go to Power Editor and upload that ad. Come here. We selected Fun Times as our Facebook page, and now we press that plus button. We go to Mozilla Firefox. Copy this URL. Paste it in here. Post text. Tags. Tag someone that loves their dog. Shop now, link headline, something like limited edition hoodies. Upload image. Upload that. And that's it. Done. Um, create post. That's it. We've just made our ad. We've selected our demographic. We've scheduled the post to start at 4:53 p.m. Um, PST time. We're set to go. We even if you've missed out anything, you'll get an error here. So you can't really upload the ad uh, before fixing those errors. So don't worry about uh, if you're gonna. Don't worry if you if you if you're worried about you're gonna miss something when uploading your ad. Uh, don't worry because you can just kind of go through it it won't let you do anything unless everything is kind of spot on so uh, anyway that's that's good to upload so now all I click is this upload changes I'm not going to click it because I don't really want this to go live but you get the idea so once that's done um, in some time you'll start to see some traffic coming into your Teespring campaign and now you just monitor your sales with your CTR and your spend and see what's going on there so that's that'll be, I'll cover that in some later videos but for now um, this is kind of we're done here with an overview of the power editor and how I go about making an ad so in the next video the next set of videos I'll go about kind of drilling down into the specifics of um, your Facebook ads and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video